Morgaro, a, a tough shift today and unfortunately our first league defeat of the season. What's your thoughts after that? Um, I think we, we kind of like play well in the first half. We, we had a few chances to score, we never took a chance and then second half was more like, a, I think like a 50-50 game was really scrappy, like long, long ball from both, both teams and they were kind of playing for the, the second ball. So it was a big disappointment obviously to, to lose the game because we want to go out every single time and win. And uh, today we, we, we were like, obviously we're still top of the league, but we want to open up the gap. But we just have to learn, like every game that we play, we win or lose, we learn from it. So we just have to go, go again for next week. And uh, you said there that the key thing is to, to learn from, from it. So what was the main lesson today? Is it just to be uh, more clinical, those chances that you mentioned? Well, yeah, more clinical like every single game, but try to learn from... From if you look at the second half, the way we played in the first half was completely different. So I think we need to to stay to, to keep playing the way we want to play, not playing the same way as the other team we're playing. So that's one of the things I think we need to to do better. And it seemed to be you know first half in particular, we, you know we, we did kind of boss the game with all due respect, to Airdrie. But you mentioned there there was a change in the second half. You felt that we played more similar style to them. What, what do you think that change was was down to? I'm not too sure. I'm not sure how, how, like why the reason why we, we play like like they did in in second half. But I just think we need to just do better next time we play against any single team. Just carry on playing the way like the manager wants us to play from start to finish. I know it's hard to play 90 minutes the same way, but we just need to do better. The uh, those chances that you mentioned uh, had Falkirk taken them. To what extent could that have changed the game? Airdrie would have then been forced to to come out more. Yeah, because like, as you see, like they were like sitting like really deep in front of their the their the goal, so it was kind of really hard to break them down. But we managed to create, I think, two chances. Like Connor had one, and Hayden Connolly, if I'm not wrong. But it happens sometimes you score, sometimes you miss. But we just need to to do better. That's all. And uh, you know, is that disappointment? Is it? Is it perhaps doubly so, given results yesterday looked quite favourable? Yeah, of course, obviously, because the result of what happened yesterday, we we wanted to win that game to open up another gap, but then it didn't happen. So now we just need to focus for the next game against Partick. So every single game is very important, and we just need to do to do well. There was a lot of uh, talk about your compatriot before the before the game, but you seem to kind of have uh, Mr. Robert under under lock and key today. Um, yeah, I mean he's, he's a good player. They, 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 they have a good like attacking players. Like, they're kind of like small but strong players, and I thought some of them did well today. But like, we're just disappointed to lose the game. Like, we just wanted to win it, so we just have to focus for next week. And that's the thing, I guess. You know, while it is disappointing, is it just a case of well, we have to put that down to, to a learning experience and just, you know, maybe it's a, a little reality check for us that it's not going to be a a kind of easy thing to, to win the league. Yeah, definitely. I think it could be like a, a wake up, a wake up call. So that's probably a good thing I would say. So obviously we don't want to lose, but then if it's a wake up call for us, then we have to focus more for next next week and then the week after the week, every single week, we just need to stay focused and then you know try to win every single game. And of course, speaking off next week, uh, it brings us on nicely. It's going to be a, another tough match on uh, on Boxing Day. Of course, Partick Thistle come calling. Yeah, of course, you know, they're, they're like the favourite to win the league, like other like there's other teams as well, so they will want to to come here and then to get the three points, but we have to make sure we're ready for it. It's going to be a hard game, but I think we will be ready. And as you say there, uh, Thistle are the, the kind of bookies' favourites, but Falkirk have got off to a good start this season. Um, and if we are to, to kind of upset things there and get the result, what do you think will be the, the key to doing so? just have to, to keep playing the same way we've been playing since the start of the season, do the simple things and trying to get the ball in the box for the strikers to score goals and to stay compact at the back and in midfield. So we, we're going to work hard, like during the week and then hopefully we can get the three points. Fingers crossed. Mo, as always, that's your time.